Hey, welcome to Real Talk with Chris and Travis. I'm Travis. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to be talking about relationships. Our opinions on what we think, you know, keeps the relationship going, the important parts of the relationships, and, you know, just how we feel about them. Yeah, because, I mean, it's, it's a lot of topics uh, that could be discussed in the realm of relationships. But we just going to, you know, with this video here, it's just going to be a kind of general, I guess you could say a generalization of relationships, you know what I'm saying? And if we kind of get some, some hits with people on this, then we'll make it a series, talk about different parts or whatever, you know, play it by you. Yeah. So, I mean, in your opinion, what do you think the most important part of it? Or the most important thing in a relationship is? I think that relationships, for one, you got to have some kind of foundation. Um, and when I say foundation, I mean, like, you, you got to kind of be able to get to know a person without putting too much of yourself out there, I guess you could say. But at the same time, kind of having boundaries, but making sure that that person understands, like, we, since we both at the phase of getting to know each other, Certain things I'll allow and certain things I'm not going to allow. Something like that, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I think communication is the most important. You know, I feel like if you can't talk to each other, then I feel like nothing else is going to work, you know. And, I mean, if you can't start off as friends and be able to communicate, you know, without holding back, you True. know, it's, you know, everything else is not going to keep the relationship going, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, that do make sense because you definitely don't want to, you know, hold things back or hide things. Um, I've, I've heard stories about people who, like, you know, they was in a, they or they had gotten in a relationship with somebody, but the person never told them they had kids mm -hmm. until until they had been dating, like, six to eight months. Yeah. And I'm just like, how you ain't know this person had children? I mean, like... Right, like, there was no red flags, like... You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no phone calls. Mommy, when are you coming home? Like, none of that is just... Uh, you know, whenever they dated, they went out places on dates. You know what I'm saying? And then they never went to each other's places, which I think that's a, a good thing. But, because, I mean, you never you never want to show somebody where you live at when y'all dating, stuff go bad, now they know what, where you live at. It's just, yeah. that's a whole thing to, to me. I just, uh, you should never let somebody know where you live at when y'all first start dating. No. Uh, I mean, I think in the beginning you should, I wouldn't say let everything out, but some things you should let it be known. Like if you have kids, don't lie and say you don't have kids, you know? Right. <laughs> that's something like, that's a part of you, you know? So if that person can't accept the fact that you have kids, then I mean, just move on you know right that's not something you should lie about in my opinion you know yeah you don't want to you know try to keep that hidden because to me like dating is how you figure out if this person is marriage material or not and you know that's why i think that dating should take a while it should take in my opinion it should take three to four years that and that, that might be a long time for some people but three or four years three to four years before you put a ring on it yeah I'm sorry yeah before you even yeah three to four because you know I've, I've known people who like they dated six months and got married and the marriage ain't last but then there are some people I think it's rare but there are some people who dated six months and they still married today and they've been married 10 12 years and I'm just like I, the, the, one, the ones who dated three to six months and y'all still married now that's that's a miracle I sometimes I mean I feel like if you know, you know. I mean, you just know. When you dating a person, you it's like a feeling. You know, you know that you want to be with this person forever, for the rest of your life. You know, you just, <laughs> you just know, you know. It might be six months. It might be two or three months, you know. You just, sometimes you just know, but, you know. I mean, I heard people say that. Like, they just knew, you know what I'm saying? I... So, and, and I do understand that because I had that same feeling. You know, when me and my wife was dating, I did have that same feeling. It's, I don't know. I guess I've, I've been a person that I always didn't never really trust fully in my feelings. So it's like, I, you know, I had the feeling, but I was kind of nervous too. And it's just like, 
if I marry this person, it ain't no going back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and that's the thing, like, with dating, because you don't know. I, I feel like, and people might think I'm wrong for this. I feel like a person should fill out a questionnaire. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know, treat it like a job application, dude. <laughs> you know, check this, yes or no. What's going to be on the questionnaire? Yeah. <laughs> on my questionnaire, first question is, do you have a job? See what I'm saying? My yeah. first question would be, do you have kids? That's it's, that was see that was on my list, but it wasn't on wasn't the first one. That'll be number one. Number one. <laughs> he said number one. That's number do, one. Do you have kids? Yes. Okay. This this interview is over. <laughs> Rip up your application on the way out the door and just. Nah, it depends on how many kids. Nah, I don't know, cause one could act like ten. <laughs> one could act like ten. <laughs> it, it, to me, it depends on how many kids. If it's more than, I'm gonna say two. So no, it's a no deal for you. <laughs> if it's if, it, if 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 it's three to four kids, that's a deal breaker for me. Mm. Uh, I think another question on my questionnaire is like, um, can you give me some of your family background? You know what I'm saying? Like, how close are you to your family? I guess I could say. Yeah. You know, because when you say family background, that's kind of asking for a person's history, and I ain't trying to, you know, I don't want to know about your finances with your family. I don't want to know. About your family criminal record and you know stuff like that, I just want to know like, do you have siblings? Yes. Okay. Are you close to those siblings? Cause you could have one sibling and y'all close, or you could have one sibling and y'all at each other's throats every day. You know, you could have ten different siblings. So you know, do do you have you know siblings and are you close to them? You know what I'm saying? Because people people can have family members. And when they need help, those family members are nowhere to be found. Yeah. So if you're dating a person like that and they need help, they can't go to their family. That means it's on you. That's true. You know, so I want to know, you know, do you have family? Um, well, not do you have family, but are you, are you close to your family? You see what I'm saying? Because some people, what if you're dating somebody that's not where you're from? They may be living, you know, in the same state you are, but all their family is living somewhere else. Yeah. You know, so again, if they need help and you're dating this person, you're obviously dating them because it's something about them that you like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever it is about this person that you like that much, do you like that so much that you're willing to sacrifice it, you know, if they need your help? Because that's a that's a real thing, you know? Um, yeah. I would say my next one would be uh, communication. How are you when things are, when we disagree on things, you know, do you, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> do you hold in your feelings, you know, and don't say how you really feel? Do you, can we still talk? Like, do you, without you yelling and screaming, <laughs> nobody can get a word in? Do you walk away when things get rough? I mean, I feel that's, that's, you know, that's a big one for me. Yeah. yeah. And see, I think that right there, it, it has a lot to say about your maturity because yeah. I've been that person. And, and in some cases, my wife will tell people that I still am that person that just hold it in and don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's boiling like a pot of water. And then once it comes out, it's just like, blah. <laughs> and your spouse is looking like, where did this come from? You know, the person you're dating is kind of looking in shock like, I don't know if I want to deal with this, you know. But um, communication is definitely a big, big thing, you know, and that's one of them things where you have to be, I want to say you have to be effective at communicating because just talking is not communication. Definitely. It's, it's not, you know, you, could, you can be saying stuff out of your mouth and the person you're talking to don't have a clue what your real feelings are what your thoughts are, they don't, you know, they don't know nothing about you, even though you, you, something coming out your mouth to them every day, you know, so communication is something that you got to decide from the beginning, if I'm going to date this person, am I really going to be real with this person, you know, am I going to be transparent, am I going to be open about stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you definitely got to be able to talk to each other, you know, 
no matter what, because there's going to be some times where you bump heads and have disagreements. So, I mean, if you can't, <laughs> if you can't talk about it without yelling and screaming, then, I mean, it might not work out, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you also got to be able, you got to have the, the type of relationship where you can just speak your mind to each other, you know? And, you know, it don't have to be something... I guess like being rude or whatever, you can say it respectfully, right. you know, you say it respectfully and speak your mind. And you should be able to do that in a relationship anyway, you know. And see, like me, I, um, you know, to me, I think that takes a certain level of boldness as well as knowing yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of people that I've seen through the years that like they was in a relationship, then they was out of a relationship. And they had just gotten out of a relationship and went and jumped in another one right quick. And I'm like, why? Why would you? <laughs> okay, you, you say you was through with her, now you with her, or vice versa. You was through with him, now you with him. It's like you gotta know yourself. Some people just can't handle being alone, and sometimes just being by yourself is the best thing. You know, it's yeah. more peace that way. It's more, you know, you get. I, I wanted to say it was kind kind of healthy. You know, it just depends on you. You gotta know yourself. Now, if you're the kind of person that you just can't be alone, you just got to have somebody, it's like, okay, when you decide you're going to do that, make sure you understand what you're getting into, you know? Because like Travis said, when, when it comes to communication, you, you got to be able to speak your mind. And if a person can't deal with you, you know, speaking your mind and stuff like that, then you need to cut them loose. Yeah, definitely cut them loose. Because, I mean, communication is definitely... The the uh the key in our relationships. Some people might say it's sex. I would say, I mean I mean that's only <laughs> that's a small percentage of a relationship in my opinion. I mean but it is. If communication is not there, that sex gets old. You know? It will. You know, so it's gotta be more to it than that. Can you have fun together? You know, do yeah. you have the same things in common? Can you, uh, I mean, just, you know, can you talk to each other? You know, does that person have your back when you're down? Do you have their back when they're down? Right, regardless of if y'all had arguments and fights and stuff like that. Uh, so, I mean, definitely got to be evenly yoked, you know. And that's, a, that's another huge thing, you know what I'm saying, because there's so many... When you, when you get involved with somebody, it's almost just like gluing two pieces of paper together. And then when you realize, like, this ain't working out, and y'all try to go y'all separate ways, it's just like trying to rip them two pieces of paper that's glued together, ripping them apart. And when you do that, like, pieces of that person is still going to be attached to you. Yeah. Mentally. You know what I'm saying? You, gonna, you know, you might be with another person, and yet... You think about this other person that you was with before you got with person, you know, let her be. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, that's why it's really important before you even go to the dating phase. It's like, no, nah, we just friends. You know, we've been friends for so long. You see what I'm saying? Um, how you how you friends with somebody for two weeks and then y'all dating? You don't. This person could be a whole serial killer. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You just don't know, you know? And I feel like some stuff just ain't worth taking the risk. You know what I'm saying? If, if I can't communicate with you, if we can't be in agreement on some things, and I know, you know, human beings, we're not going to agree on everything, especially dealing with the opposite sex. You, you're not going to agree on everything. But there are some things it, it should be, you know, just out in the open. We can talk about it, come to an agreement on it, and then we on to the next thing. But if you can't do that, even in the friendship stage, you dating should not be part of the equation. Yeah, definitely. You definitely got to start off as friends first, you know. I mean, if you start noticing, like, red flags as friends, don't get into a relationship. If you know, if you notice things that you feel like you can't really get over and it's going to be an issue, yeah, like an issue now as a friend, it's going to be an even bigger issue at you know, in a relationship, so I say take it slow and notice the red flags, you know, and for real, don't just brush them to the side, because I mean, 
It's gonna come back to bite you. Especially if you walk down the aisle with them. That that will uh <laughs> it's gonna hurt. You know, and just like Travis said, you just wanna touch on something he said earlier, having things in common, you know. Um one thing for sure, people can't fake it till they make it. Some people just not good at that. But to the ones who do, you know, oh, I'm gonna pretend like, you know, I'm into everything this person is into to get them to you know, give themselves over to me, then they just switch up on you. If you're dealing with somebody like that, that could be a, a terrible thing. But as far as having things in common, I mean, if you can communicate with a person and you find that, you know, y'all do have a lot of similarities. For instance, you know, the mindset when y'all have approach different situations. You know, the mindset when it comes to money. Um, the mindset when it comes to how y'all gonna live. Um, Cause you live differently when you're by yourself versus when you're living with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, how y'all going to live? You know, how are y'all finances going to be? Because, again, your finances are different when it's just you. But when it's you and somebody else, even if y'all got separate accounts, the finances is not just, oh, that's my money and her money. I mean, you know, his money and my money and all this. It's like, no, it's not just me anymore. It's us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you definitely want to take a lot of that into consideration, you know, when you when you going into the dating phase. Because, again, like dating is, you know, it's not a game. This is the platform that you use to figure out, is this person worth me going, you know, to this next level, you know? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you definitely have to look at how that person handles money. That's really a another big one in dating and also if you want to marry that person you know is he or she a good money manager do they uh you know do they handle money well do they handle their priorities well or are they just foolish and just spend money on stupid stuff you know just, you know you gotta look at all that you know you should be dating for with a with a purpose you know? right you know and not just looking at the the physical or you know this person looks good or they got they got this and they got that you know just you know can they handle their business properly right because the longer you be involved with somebody even if you date them for a long time your your business becomes their business yeah. you know those things are going to get in, intertwined together whether you want them to or not you know what i'm saying so like i heard people say things like um first impressions last a lifetime and they do, you know. Um, physical attraction is 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 most times that's the first way we decide. In some cases, even if we're gonna be friends with a person, yeah. you see what I'm saying? You know, is I I've never seen like somebody just decide off the rip. Oh, I'm gonna be friends with that person that's way over there. I don't even know him. I'm gonna just go be friends with him. It's like no, it's, it's something about that person that made you go in their direction you know it could have been the way they look or it could have been you just heard them talking about something and the way they was talking about it just made you kind of get interested in them you know and that and that's often the first step is that that first conversation but before that first conversation like you know it's it's your some, something in your mind goes off you know and you whether like i say whether it's the, that person's physical makeup or, or the, the way their face look or just the way their voice sound. Something about that person made you want to find out more. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like a movie trailer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you saw them from a distance. You heard things, you saw things, and it was just like, coming soon. Oh, really? I'm going to find out about that movie over there. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, y'all yeah, drop a comment and let us know what are the most important thing or things in a relationship to y'all. Yeah, because we definitely going to be looking. Yeah, we're going we gonna to be looking. And also, check us out on Instagram at Real Talk with Chris and Travis. Right, because you don't want to miss anything. And also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Because, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be discussing a lot of different things on this channel. Hot topics and stuff that ain't hot topics. I mean, but it's going to be a lot of good stuff on here, man. And you really don't want to miss it. Oh, yeah. So, stay tuned. And we'll see y'all next Friday. We out. Peace.